Hello students. Today we will discuss low power factor wattmeter. LPF wattmeter. Usually wattmeter is classified into two. UPF type wattmeter and LPF wattmeter. UPF means unity power factor wattmeter. These type of wattmeters are used to measure power in resistive circuit. Because we know in resistive circuit power factor cos phi is equal to 1. Therefore UPF meters are used to measure power in resistive circuit. And next one is the LPF low power factor watt meter. These are used to measure power in highly inductive circuit. We know that in inductive circuit power factor is low. Hence, LPF wattmeters are used to measure lower values of power factor accurately. So, what is the need of LPF wattmeter? If we are using ordinary wattmeter for measuring low power factor, it gives inaccurate result. This happens because of two reasons. First one is, if we are using ordinary wattmeter in highly inductive circuit, the magnitude of deflecting torque is very small. Even if we are applying full excitation to pressure coil and current coil, because the deflecting torque of wattmeter is proportional to the power. Power is proportional to Vi cos phi. If the power factor is low, Deflecting torque is also small. Second reason is if we are using ordinary wattmeter, the error occurs in the reading because of the pressure coil inductance. So, some additional features are added to the ordinary wattmeter so that the meter can measure the power of the low power factor circuit. So, three Major modifications how to be made in ordinary wattmeter so that we can convert it into low power factor wattmeter. They are reduction of pressure coil resistance, compensation of error due to pressure coil connections, compensation of error due to pressure coil inductance. First one is reduction of pressure coil resistance. In case of ordinary wattmeter, we are connecting a high resistor in series with the pressure coil in order to limit the current through the coil. But in case of low power factor wattmeter, pressure coil is designed for having a low value of resistance so that a high value of current passes through the coil. This current produces high deflecting torque Td. Second one is compensation of error due to pressure coil connections. There are two methods of connecting a wattmeter in a circuit. Figure shows these two methods. First one is M and C are short circuited and second one is L and C are short circuited. In first figure, the pressure coil is connected on the supply side and therefore voltage applied to the pressure coil is the voltage across the load plus voltage drop across the current coil. Therefore, wattmeter measures the power loss in current coil in addition to the power consumed by the load. So, power measured by the wattmeter is equal to power consumed by the load plus power consumed in current coil. Here, L and C are short circuited and the current coil is on the supply side and therefore this current coil carries pressure coil current plus load current. Hence, 
the watt meter reads power consumed in the load plus power loss in the pressure coil. Therefore, power measured by watt meter is equal to power consumed by load plus power loss in pressure coil. So, in order to compensate the error due to pressure coil connections, a compensating coil is connected in series with the pressure coil. So, this one is the compensating coil. When the pressure coil current IP flows through the compensating coil, a magnetic field is induced in it. This magnetic field of compensating coil opposes the field of current coil. Thus, the error caused by the pressure coil current flowing through the current coil is neutralized. Third one is compensation of error due to pressure coil inductance. A small amount of inductance is present in the pressure coil of the wattmeter. This inductance causes error in the reading. This type of error can be reduced by connecting a capacitor in parallel with the pressure coil resistance. So that the capacitive reactants cancel out the inductive reactance of the pressure coil. Then pressure coil becomes purely resistive. From this discussion, we can make three main conclusions. First one, in low power factor meter, in order to increase the deflecting torque, a low resistor is connected in series with the pressure coil. Second one, in order to compensate the error due to pressure coil connections, a compensating coil is connected in series with the pressure coil. Third one, in order to compensate the error due to pressure coil inductance, a capacitor is connected in parallel with the series resistor. Thank you.